Hello everyone, welcome to Bree, and this time I am yes, going to remember to do this. Um, and that is just to put some watchtowers down. Ooh, that's right on the limit. There we are. The and go back in there. We've got some uh, sight range. Obviously, um, Alderon can't do that. And, well, actually, we don't need him to. Um, but we could Your orders, my lord. use this fella. Maybe you just go to there. That's probably okay. Hiding from the enemy. Get this slightly more sight range. Um, we could next turn. He could yes, probably move lord. over there. Uh, since we've got the paved road. Um, will, I don't know what this general here is going to do. But he's not going I to attack it. So, um, of course, last time we took Fornost. And we are going to go ahead and give that back to Aragorn and co. Our current uh, diplomat. Yeah, he's down here in the south. Um. He's, he's kind of on a mission to uh, Your order, basically get us out of the war with Isengard and replace us with Enidwise. But we have got the hobbits here. They are being taken to Isengard. And engage. I don't think there's any point in waiting. Um, it's going to be a difficult fight. They've got Berserkers. They've got Nazkai. Um, and... Um, <laughs> yeah... This is going to be very difficult. Like, even the Orc Defenders. There's no... Guarantee that we're going to win. But... We will have at least taken the Hobbits to Isengard. And that is the main thing. Attack! The gate is about to be dropped. And... Oh, one more shot should do it. The there we are. are. Right. Um... It's good that they're letting us get in there. But I think what I recall from the previous uh, encounter here is that they, as soon as we kind of went through the gate, then they all kind of rushed forward. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if we can actually win this because, like, we are just really bad in melee. We're okay now as a faction with our regular units but the hobbits don't really get many of those bonuses these guys do but 6 and 13 that's not fantastic and their arrows aren't really going to do a whole lot but we do have a small smattering over here and more likely these folks over here are probably going to make the difference now we're going to probably try and run through there yeah, as we stutter through and if they allow us to get in there, then that would be really good. Oh, we've got cavalry as well, but probably not going to be too much of a use. But the ballister will. Sadly, we've only got half of the ammunition left. So let's go in with these dudes. And yeah, they've got the Nazkai coming already. Let's just allow them to come up onto the walls. If that's what they want to do, then that's what they're going to do. I think we also just go in with these. Because we're going to need to use that ammunition. If possible. So, yeah, they're going to come over here. Let's get right up and close to this wall. So if they do start firing at us, then we're not too bothered. But if we can get everyone in there... I think there's a really good chance we could do something here. If. That's a big if. Oh, they're firing at us. Those archers are going to do a lot of damage. What are we going to do about that? Right. You. You're going to have to run over there. You have to engage them. Do they have any other archers? I think they've got beast slayers over here. Somewhere. I think I saw them. Um, but, yeah, we need to shut these down because it's actually not b that bad if they fire at these. But you just stay there and we're going to try and get in the rest of these. So, in you go. 
There's a chance that we actually lose in melee to them. Because I think they're... What are they shooting at? These? It's hard to really know. I think they might be shooting at... No, they're shooting at these. Right. Bandabras. Get over here. And these are being shot as well. That's not good. They're being shot at. How are we to combat this? I think we just have to get over here. Hang on, let's just pause for a moment. Because they've got archers over here. If we bring these over here, they'll get shot to pieces. If we stay here, we'll get shot to pieces. If we go up on the walls, there's no guarantee that we won't get shot to pieces because the AI likes to just keep on shooting. Um, and we won't beat them in melee on the wall either. Um, we're going to lose there eventually. See, they're still firing. Uh, they've got trolls there. So if you go too close, then we will just get charged. Um, but... There's, like, we put this unit in there, the trolls are going to go in. But equally, you can't just send in a unit to be sacrificed. There is one, then it is the merchant infantry. They could do something that, ah, no, but then they just get shot. Um, I think we just have to move forward and hope that they do not have the range to keep attacking us. When we are no longer close to the walls. So we're going to go over there. You go over there. Some of them are going to be caught in melee. Um, and you're just going to have to go over there. Unfortunately. As I say. Or as I said. There is no guarantee that we actually win this battle. And I don't really expect to. I mean, there's a chance, because you never know what the AI is going to do. But, rather, what they're not going to do. Because they can often just derp around. But, uh, I think we need to get as far from these crossbows as possible. And, who's getting charged? Oh, that's us charging them. Okay. Yeah, they just took a lot of shots right in the face. It looks like they're going to continue to do so. But. What do they have? I think one of these is just going to have to go into melee. Yeah. You're going to go in over there. Shut them down. Because those arrows will just destroy us. We're not going to go into the town square. See, look at this. They're still firing at us. We need to get in there. Right, okay. Right, the trolls aren't really doing anything. Right, you move over here. And, right, fire at them. And then, as for these... Those trolls are the real issue here, aren't they? And not just how slow we are. Right, let's see if we can get this baluster in there. I don't know what those crossbows are actually trying to fire at. But um, you get over there. And then let's get these a bit closer. And then we're going to start firing as soon as possible. If we could have them here, that would be really good. But... Come on. Oh, they're so slow. And they're fighting. But they're firing as well, so... Standard. Right, you go over there then. And... Okay, you're just going to be in melee then. But we need to have someone doing something. And, okay, we're moving in, we're moving in. These are almost in position, but these archers aren't really going to do a whole lot firing into shields. So, let's just move you over there. Oh, the trolls are coming. 
Patrols are coming. Um, I don't really know what to do. I guess we just run away. You need to get over there. Oh, we're going to get blocked by this baluster. Um, well, you're just going to stay in there. You're going to have to stay in there. And we're going to just try and pelt rocks at them. Bane guard, reavers. Right, archers, you get over here and then we can fire at them. There's no, there's no good targets. There's no good targets. There's no good targets. We need to get in behind. There's all of our units. Um, and we can't really go over there because they've got the walls over there. And well, we're just so slow. Are you getting shot at there? All right, just stop there. Just stop there. Let them get into position. And you know what? You are going to have to go over there. Gatekeepers are being shot at by who? Oh, they're routing. Right, well, you're firing at them. You're going to stop there and you're also going to fire. And you know what? You're also going to fire. They've got berserkers there, so that's probably something. Just be firing at something. Oh, and they've been caught in melee. You stay, you go. This is just awful. And now they're coming off the walls. And they've got all those trolls still. There's just no way. There is just no way we can win. Um, I'm already kind of thinking of how will we get out of this with some men, with some hobbits intact. Because we've just got nothing to counter all this with. Because, yeah, Urukai bodyguard there. The feat seems almost certain. This isn't going to work. No. Right, we'll, we're going to pull out uh, Journeyman. We're going to keep you firing for a bit, but I think we might pull these out. The Hobbits can stay and fight. Or well, some of them. Actually, yeah. Um, you can. We just need to make sure that we'll have 85%, otherwise Will gets wiped out. So we're running all those troops out and I don't know, like we, we've killed one troll, just one of these trolls has gone down. Also this is a good point to show that Isengard with their advanced armor smith, they can upgrade trolls to have this look. So even, got, even though trolls of the hand or whatever they may have been called that they had before they were cut they do still retain the look from that there unit right well that unit of journeyman is dead as is that they're dead but this one does not need to that ballast is maybe going to go down the merchant infantry they're running and you're also running um yeah just just leave leave and all of you just leave. We've lost 46%, but there is just there's just no no chance. Right, also you just start running. There's just no point staying here. You boys, you're on your own. But these uh Greenway Spearmen they've done reasonably well. Even if the uh Urukai archers are still firing whilst they're in melee. Yeah, this is all gone. There's still a few noble noble hobbits over here fighting. I think they've maybe killed one of these. Oh, now they've killed two of the Urukai bodyguards. But, uh, yeah, that's not working out so well. They've gone down. Highly experienced hobbits. And those two beast slayers there just 
keeping on chunking. And, well, everyone's routing. Every, just everyone out here, just, just run. And we'll fast forward to the end. This defeat is a bitter drop to swallow. Let's <laughs> be our foe that sups from this most foul cup. Okay, so we took the uh, took the hobbits to Isengard, and how did that go? Well, we lost sixty four percent of our number. It would have been a lot higher had we stayed. We only killed fifteen percent of them. Obviously, they got some uh, replenishment post battle, uh, but even so, we killed hardly any of them. Uh, Let's have a look here. Um, is there anything really? I mean, the gatekeepers went two for one. I suppose that's something. Um, and yeah, there's one unit that got into triple figures, and they were probably the ones that were up against the archers. Disgraced! Fall back and retreat! Oh Falling dear! Back from the walls. Now, oh, he's gone into the fort though. That's Good. That is good. Uh, we're just going to merge. So, the hobbits, you know, they didn't really get the job done. I yes, think uh, what we could do, I mean, we could just siege them out. My lord. Um, or we could go on for Foldberg. That's got very, um, very little in there. Yeah, there's a big army in there. Let's just have a look here. Approaching quietly. Oh, there's a big I'm army. Stick you. Right, we're going to go we're onto this bridge. Oh, no, we're not. Because we've not got the movement. Lord. I'd go onto that bridge to maybe just get a bridge battle. And then we'd have a much easier time. Oh, but they released the prisoners then. That's good. But Will has been disgraced. He has proven to not be that great. And he's got faltering courage. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, well, we'll put uh, you in there. And Captain Ozzy come down here. Right. Right, right, right. Oh, we've got this uh, spy here, too. We can bring him down here to have a look. Obviously, now we need to be mindful that they don't start recruiting too much there. But, um, yeah, they've got... The trolls. The trolls are a bit of a pain. And perhaps we need... My lord. Um... Yeah, we could use another unit down here. So let's bring them over. And aside from that, let's just have a look at the money situation. Well, we've got lots of it. And, ooh, let's get the merchant bank. Maybe that will give us... The merchant skilled here. I don't want it in the trite. <laughs> so uh, let's just get a market there. And what else? Uh, Fornos, that's not getting anything. Is everyone building over here? Anything here? Oh, that's about to grow. Okay, so we need to make sure that. I mean, we don't particularly need everything everywhere. Let's get the Great Hall there, though. Allow for more. Uh, recruitment slots and I'm tempted just to also get the same here and in Byrig we will want this place to grow still so let's just get the herbalist that will give us 5% and Darby's got everything okay let's see hang on hang on bear with is there anything that needs retraining, yes, but I've spotted them and we definitely want them every time. Oh, and them. There's anything. Oh, Sindar Axemen, Sindar Archers. Notice, yeah, we get one every 34 turns and then a Manyar Riders. They're pretty good. They're slightly faster than our, our Norian uh, cavalry. But they're not actually that much better. But we will still take them. And, and, and. We've been laid siege in Barquetta. I will only address Let's just have a look in what's battle. in there. Because we've actually got three units here. Yeah, I think we'd win that if they 
were to attack us and we can hold out for five turns that's probably an issue actually because they can't build the siege equipment very quickly because they've got not enough people um so they might actually end up just sieging us out dunyard's got the roads um which one's dunyard this one um that's good i suppose just get that <laughs> Um, we're, we're doing pretty well for money, but um, I suppose... Oh, Motum Bailey ready to upgrade. Yep, there we go. Then we can get paved roads here as well, I think. Yes, yes we can. Wait, hang on. Did I just see that? Uh... Oh, okay. No. Yeah, we can only upgrade up to a castle, but if we were to come across... A stronghold then we could um, build great roads so if we had say like Fornost or um, what's another one or like Khan Dum then we could uh, build them there but uh, right okie dokie is good to hello see you, friends friend. How we're we gonna help? give you Fornost Orion there we are and they are very rich what is very rich? Like, how rich is very rich? 20. I accept cool. this wonder Thank you. honor and a pleasure. Fair Obviously, way. I don't want to completely bankrupt them or anything, but uh Oh, they've got some Arthurdine footmen. Very nice. Very yes, nice. Man. Um Right. This army's kind of Um I just merged there, but uh, we need to rebuild I think so let's just uh, have a wander down here if they attack us it will be an honor defeating that you. is fine um, we've got units here that we can kind of just lump in there I don't like the merchant Order, infantry I, it's probably Lord. pretty obvious but <laughs> um, let's just uh, hand over way, those first by your command and we'll take out some of these guys and we'll put in a few more. And yeah, I think that will probably sort itself out. I mean, there's a chance that the dwarves come and help us because they've actually been pretty helpful on that front. Potentially. Let's just have a look, actually. There's a lot of force over here, but the dwarves have got two large armies there. And um, they have now taken Fuerost, and they've got um, Garth Heligoth. So, oh, that's that army that was there. My Lord. Oh, and we've got these guys here. Okay. Um, we're going to cut across there. March to exhaustion. And when the, then we're later. just going to march in that direction. Maybe Andy can take those units on board will, my lord. right By your command, so where have you come from blade. hmm your orders my lord orders i don't think we could beat that with what yes, we have my lord. My lord. Um, we could take foldberg though and i think we should let's go and take uh, wait just checking the time yeah, I've got time. Right, let's go and take Foldberg. We shall prevail. And then, oh, Lord Ugluk is in there with his berserkers. Very good. And Urukai infantry. We can just go into melee with this. We've got some axe guard. Yes. Muster your courage, men. We the gates are down. Nice. Uh, I didn't know quite how long that was going to take because we're actually quite far away from them. Um, so we couldn't see the um, the progress being made. But right, they've got a baluster there of their own. But if they, there's a chance that they don't start firing at us. Although I saw some movement there. So I think they probably are about to start firing at us. Well, whilst that's going on... Uh, let's bring Prathor over here, actually. And let's bring both of these, actually, over. Let's just get rid of that. 
Um, we might get lucky with the Ballister, but obviously they are also doing the same. But these two should have the range. Yep, they do. And we've taken one of their engines out, so that's good. And we'll just do this on fast forward since this is a pretty boring part. And I don't think the ballast actually did anything. I think it just got clipped on some building over here, clearly. But, uh, I mean, this will work just as well. And we've got the ammunition for it, so once this is gone... Um, I mean, the arrows aren't particularly useful against any of this anyway. I suppose they've got the uh, berserkers there. But uh, I think Talbrathor to stop now. I think they need at least three to operate. But that's us. enough. I don't think they can actually operate the, uh, the engines anymore. So uh, we can go back into tight formation. And then we're going to come in with our infantry. And all of our missiles we'll just bring over here too. The enemy's walls belong to us now. And now we have movement. Let's start running. Go, go, go. And Brathor can't actually shoot over there. So we're going to go in with the uh, swordsman. Um, no, you go over there. You go over there. And you kind of sweep around that side. There's the berserkers. Right, let's get you two in. And we'll look to getting the crossbows in, but I don't know if they will be needed, really. So, let's just charge in at these crossbows before they start doing too much damage. And, uh, yeah, the axe guard should be okay against the rest here. But uh, let's just wait for them to get in. And, oh, you can get in there as well. And as for the rest of the axe guard, yeah, there's just these two here. Let's bring you in as well. So... We've got them in melee. If we continue so like let's this, bring these over here. The enemy. And we're going to aim to just take out the berserkers. That's like the main thing here. So we're not going to go into melee with these over here just yet. Uh, but we will over here. So let's just go. We'll charge into the infantry actually. Brandishing their great axes. You're missing them. Oh, we've just ran into them, basically. Couldn't see them over the hill. Right. Yes, almost in position. Let's just uh, speed it up so we uh, get there. Right, and are you ready? I want this volley going off at the same time. Right. The battle is very much in our favour. Nice. Victory will be ours. And, uh, right, you get over here. You get in over there. You get over there. In come the shots. And, oh, we actually took someone out already. That's good. Right, let's go at a bit of an angle here. And you charge in over here. If they go into melee over there, that's pretty good for us. We should be able to uh, just snipe them from here. So. Yeah. Oh, they're... Oh, they're not going to do that, are they? Surely not. I don't think they can, anyway. Uh, well... You keep firing at the berserkers, you're going to fire at the crossbows. So there's a very large gap there. And I think you, these... You can pretty much fire through these buildings, so... And as this is also armor-piercing, it should do relatively well. 
it's working out pretty well. Right. They might need some help, so uh, let's just bring these over. But, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's just... Um, I don't know if these will make it in time. It's not imperative. But it would just speed this up a little bit, wouldn't it? Right. You charge in. Berserk is already down to 46. 46. Although we are pretty much out of ammunition. And... But I, I, it's kind of hard to know how much damage we've really done as they do have the two hit points. So, it could be that we've done a bit more, even. But the mosh pit is the definitely in our favour. So, um, I, I don't know if these guys are going to be needed. You can bring one over there, though. Like so. And a couple more volleys here. And we're out. So they've still got 30 berserkers. And we will just keep firing at the crossbows because they're still apparently firing at us. Or, well, they don't actually appear to be, so. Yeah. Don't think we've quite got an angle here. Just fire at the infantry over there then. Just do that. And same with you. Just spotting those uh, crossbow bolts. I feel like we are missing quite a lot. So let's just stop there. Because, I mean, we're about to sandwich them anyway. So there's no point in getting friendly fire but let's just uh, swing around here coming in with Brithor and let's take out these oh that might be oh no because they've got men in the they've got dudes in here so let's just press in we've pretty much caught all of them so that's good and then Brithor if you'd like to just Come in over here. We'll use you in melee. And uh, that should be that. Oh, we're going to get a charge in. Lovely stuff. Our men are in command but of the now I am just going to fast forward here. There is no more strategy to be had. It is just a case of... Can we hurry up and we kill the last guy? There we are. We a solid today. victory. We lost uh, 189 or 8%. And Lord Ugluk. That is actually their faction leader now, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if Lurtz is still around. Uh, but 139. They're 156. 158. 135 for Brithor. Indeed, the Lord of Isengard is dead, triumphed. and we're going to take Foldberg. We are sacking it. Conquered. Um, ah, oh, horse breed is guild. I don't think Rohan is actually alive anymore um, in this campaign. Um, oh, they are. I don't know where, though. They must be, like, over here, then. Because if they don't have Edoras... And they don't have Helm's Deep. That means that they've probably only got one of these in the fold. Um, so. Uh, what we're going to do with this then is... Where's that diplomat? There he is. Your orders. So we're going to trade that for... I think if we get Dolvorn... Wait, hang on. Is Dolvorn a large town? It is. And we are trading a city. Okay. Well, Always let's do it. Happy to um, deal with you, give region. Friends. Folberg to you. And we get... And we get Dolborn. Yes. 
That's very demanding. Well, apparently, even with 10 grand map info and Foldberg, we can't get Bregos. So we're just going to try it though. Oh. It's that says, oh, it's accepted. So that wasn't you. too bad. I mean, we just got, for four Nost, we got 20. Um, so that's pretty cool. And now it's just Dol Vaughn that we require, which we might just be able to buy with Durwath. <laughs> um, entirely possible. Lord, my Lord. So they've got no one in Foldberg. Well, that is... Yes. A real shame. Camp here. Um, we might I'm be getting attacked by that yes, army. So maybe it wasn't a good idea to do this immediately at this turn. But um, Your will, my lord. we could Your send orders, some reinforcements orders. or one unit. So I'd quite like the pikes, will, really. Yes, what do they lord. have? have oh, they've got cavalry. And we've got orders, my lord. Ooh, two units. Well, if we had three, that would make it better. There we are. And you go in there. And... Your will, my lord. Yes. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Um, What I'd really want, obviously, is to get Dol Vaughan. And then we've got all of this above the river. And... Um, Yes, uh, once we are, once we've kind of like defeated or taken Isengard, I think we're going to do that with Brithor. We will have um, kind of subdued them and then we can hopefully move north. But there's a chance that Doath also will need to be taken. But uh, in the meantime, I am going to leave it yes, my Lord. there. Lord. So I hope that you've enjoyed it um, and have a, a good day wherever it is that you are. But I'm going with Gandalf. Good day.